sorry that it took us a long setup, but if you've never played Twilight Imperium, there's many, many pieces to this game. It takes a little bit to set up. Um, and we're still setting it up, actually. We just had to divide our ships up. Um, all right, so we're going to first see who the first player is, because that's the person who gets to pick their race first. Uh, five. That's not going to be me. <laughs> I guess we'll go this way for a change. Mm -hmm. Two. Two. So, <laughs> definitely, not, not, definitely not two. <laughs> What? <laughs> not <from that> end. <laughs> so now you have to roll a 20 just because it started at the top. 16, 16 broke the chain. <laughs> it would have been funny if you actually got to be first. Player. Right? Seriously. All right, so Beth. I think Beth is first this time. So we, we have, have pick the a random name plates up now for square? The, all of us. Pardon me? Yeah, we don't have the name plates up for Aaron. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Good point. Let's throw some Aaron down. Mm. Just to go. And also because this came up in the middle of that, I figure... <laughs> Welcome back to Chits and Giggles, where the games are made up and the dice don't matter. <laughs> Except for when it's determining who goes first. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, not unless it's me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so who'd you get? I got the Liz Lizix Mind Nut. Okay. <clears throat> so you are the creepy, zombie-looking dudes. No, the bug no, people no. are the other guys. These yeah. are zombie-looking guys. Um, go ahead and read your background. Wait, your background is a mile long. Do we want to yeah, do that? Yeah, um, I think I'm, we're good. Yeah, go ahead. You can skip through it. Uh, you can skip through it. It'd be nice for people to know how, because the races act a certain way because of their background, so. Do you, I mean, do you? Eh, might I'm as well. Just, Why not? We're going to be here for Because this is, this is forever. Okay. Yeah. yeah <laughs> All right. That's the thing. Eh. People are already complaining about setup time. We probably well, they were sitting there listening to crappy hold music. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, this is the L1Z1X Mind Net. That's who I get to play. <laughs> It has been 13 years since the Hakan trade of Zolar was lost. A year later, its final desperate broadcast was finally intercepted by our Izaro outpost near the Mahak asteroid fields. The last transmission of the Zolar told a grim story. After leaving Mold Primus in the Mahak region, its navigation equipment failed, and its crew found themselves lost in space beyond, far beyond the remote borderlands. So, oh, unlucky you. Uh, after nearly two weeks of drift in deep space, they were suddenly hailed by a great warship of unknown origin. The crew's joy soon turned to terror. The warship closed, bringing its broadside <clears throat> cannons to bear on the helpless freighter. The Hakan captain was able to send in a final emergency broadcast before his ship was destroyed. Not long after the disappearance of the Zolar, a mighty alien fleet appears on the outskirts of Isaral's space. From that fleet, a small delegation of representatives traveled to Mechatol, submitting an ancestral claim to the Imperial throne. They claim to be the true remnants of the ancient Lazaks, now calling themselves the L1Z1X. L1Z. <laughs> it actually spells it out because it writes it L1Z1X and then it says they want L1Z1X. You to say letters, X. I'm like, I'm not going to say L1Z1X. I'm going to call it the Lizix. The Lizix. Lizix. Um, oh, G38 is now following. Thanks for joining. Well, they, and sorry about the crappy whole music. It's true. It is crappy, but it's not usually played that long. Yeah, <laughs> this game. Oh my god. We're gonna, we'll have to move. I promise in the future we'll make some new interludes. Well, I have them already. I just haven't had time to add them. Oh, nice. I got them last night. Cool. <laughs> Grizzly to behold, they resemble the Lazak, but utterly changed. Their bodies almost entirely t overtaken with invasive cybernetic implants. So the Wenaran so 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 custodians yeah. are deeply divided over the issue. Some claim that the L1Z1 are not the ruling race, but a new and potentially dangerous hybrid. Other Winarians argue that the Lazak have returned in unexpected form, but return them nonetheless, and that their custodianship is over. A Winarian observer has been allowed to visit the L1Z1X homeworld called 0.0.0 .0 by its inhabitants, or null by most others. The observer has not yet returned. <laughs> I wonder why. And the L1Z1X remain a largely unknown entity. What little is known of, of them has been provided by uh, the Lisnicks themselves, or obtained from a few old records provided by the old Yolnar regions. From the Halari records and from the Someone the Lizix <laughs> claim it has been inferred that the Lizix history started during the final days of the Lazak. I'm sorry, Lizix and Lazak sound better. I like it. I'm okay with that. Um, and Die Hard fans. People like need to complain about something, so we might as well yeah. give them this for the freebie. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, the rules that we're going to get wrong in this game. Well, this, 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 is, this, is, this is a freebie. You can complain all you want. <laughs> it was less than a year before the great bombing of Mechatol that a counselor of the to the emperor by the name of Ibna Belsid saw the impending doom. The, the emperor and his other counselors refused to listen to 
Ibna's dire warnings. Soon Ibna grew frustrated with their myopia. Although the Lazak Navy was clearly failing, although droves of systems were daily joining the three rebellions, although trade had entirely failed, and food supplies on Mechatol were running out, the Emperor and his cabinet simply could not comprehend that their birthright, their empire, could possibly fall. <laughs> Refusing to share the fate of his liege, Imna Bel Sid said, Screw you people, I'm going home. <laughs> he began secretly planning it. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically it. <laughs> he began secretly planning a furtive discord of his own family and a few thousand Lazak who shared his fears. With him, uh, Imna sought to bring the pillars of Lazak culture, technology, and knowledge. He even managed to persuade a few group, a small group of Hylar scientists to join him, recognizing that the Hylar skill was instrumental to the underlying technology of the Empire. Duh. <laughs> then, on a fateful night during the 72nd year of the Twilight Wars, two freighters, Namanda and the Hirana, and Ibna's own cruiser, Sid, left the great spaceport of Mechatol City. Below them, the great city of cartography burned. So fearful had Ibna been of discovery and persecution by the Lazak's en en enemies that he had engineered the destruction of any record that could possibly identify his secret destination. Wow. A cold but adequate planet orbiting the small star Haz, far beyond the borderlands. It is guessed that the colony, struggling to survive, started to rely almost exclusively on technology to assist them in their hardships. Presumably helped by the small contingent of Hylar, technology crept into their lives and bodies until they became almost indistinguishable from it. It is rumored that Ibn of Sid still leads his people, encased in eldritch technology that keeps his ancient body alive. Whether the Lizards are guided by the wisdom that saved them, or by the insanity that destroyed the famed Hall of Cartography, is not known. <laughs> Behind their vacant red eyes lie both a tragic history and a terrible malevolence. It seems certain that the return of the Lazak will wash across the galaxy like a tide of prophecy and steel. Lovely. What's your symbol look like? I didn't um, see it. It's a right. blue thing. It's the it's a, the Z X it's on the inside. Oh, okay. It looks like a Z one Z. Yep. Here you go. Hey, or, you match the color you picked. It's like yes. they knew. Um, <laughs> all right, Aaron, draw yourself a race. Okay. Uh, the I don't something know. something football kind of thing. <laughs> no. Oh, the shocking! And they're the ones that in the other one in Twilight and Peter and Rex, <laughs> they can predict the winner, and if they predict the winner and they're oh, right, they win instead. Just, yeah. <laughs> Those nutty like prophet <clears throat> dudes. No. Aren't those, aren't those the cat people? No. No, that's the cat No, these are oh, the giant not. space turtles. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it is. I got the giant space turtles. <laughs> they look, they're space turtles. Take a look. Yeah. look show them. I, oh, I forgot to show the group. Hang uh, on. They literally are... Giant space turtles. Giant space turtles. They were pacifists, but I don't think that's going to be the case this time. They sometimes... <laughs> 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 is that portentous of your plans in this game? It's just me. Uh, if you want to skim, you don't have to read the whole thing. It's a lot of stuff. But if you want to just kind of paraphrase real quick what they're like, so folks know who have not played this game before. Yes, I was going to say that. <laughs> All of us. Okay. While you're reading, I'm going to explain to folks um, <clears throat> so you can decide how you want to paraphrase yes. it. Uh, we've never played this game before. We literally, we've read the rules and things, but we've never actually sat down and played. So this is our first game. It's a learning experience. Uh, we will make rules mistakes. That's going to happen. Guaranteed. Um, so we're going to try not to make tons of rules mistakes, but the idea is just to have fun and hopefully folks who have been curious about this game, like us, <laughs> um, can decide if it's something they want to give a try. So And yes. at least hopefully our foibles will be massively entertaining along the way, or at least mildly entertaining. Yep, I expect, I hope that I last long enough, because you can literally get wiped out of this game very realistically, because yeah. your home planets offer resources too, so... Yep. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's it's a pretty epic game. We've been wanting to play it for a very long time. I've had it since it came out, and I've never played it. So um, it's tough to find people that are willing to sit down for four to six hours to play a game. But after Firefly, yeah. um, people became more willing. So <laughs> I've decided we're going to give it a try. Uh, I think it should be fun. It's perfect for extra life because you're going to do a marathon anyway. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, <coughs> right, do you want to real quick just explain kind of the basics of that? The basics of them is they're one of the oldest uh, kingdoms. Uh, oldest races of space travelers. Um, they're primarily peace keep, uh, peaceful. They don't have any weapons of their own until they brokered a deal with... Uh, oh, I just lost it. They brokered a deal, I believe, probably with the cat. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I thought they... It's the, um, whatever they're called. Uh, crap, I forgot what they're called. Oh, the Emirates of Hakan. Yeah, uh, for weapons. Lion people. And the like. Bankers but, in space. <laughs> 
They are inherently well, peaceful, <laughs> slow, and thoughtful people. They're the Lannisters. <clears throat> That's a good point. But everyone pays off the debts to them, though. <laughs> <laughs> and they are uh, very uh, good at negotiations. Is Probably right. because they can see the future. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think they'll be so peaceful right now. <laughs> hmm. Oops. Ah. Oh. <clears throat> you both these says Firefly. Yes, that game, we love <coughs> that game. It's a long, long game, but we love it. Mm-hmm. I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to be the Sardok Noir. Noir. So, oh, great. I get to <coughs> giant scary space bugs. That's me. Giant scary space bugs. That's that's, that's what I should be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so let me just real quick. Uh, okay. Not far past the Unicorn Nebula, the Golden Sardak Star shines its ancient hot light on giant oceanless Quinara. The massive planet radiates a red glow like a dusty ruby at night, its massive polar storms clearly visible from space. A great network of orbital space stations and massive complements of fleets uni- unites... <laughs> I'm going to play this race so badly. <laughs> it sounds like they're powerful. I'm not. Um, uh, occupy the system in a fashion... in the fashion of the insectile Noor. Noor. Uh, massive whale-like Noor carriers spew fighters like angry hornets from a disturbed nest. Convoys of Ice Mountain transports are always inbound from the planet Trenlock. Small spider-like robotic ships drill into the sides of the ice, guiding the ice into the orbital liquid processing plants, after which the derived water and salt is flown to Quinara by bloated subgliders that, like beetle balloons, slowly descend on the Noor cities below. <coughs> Quinara itself is among the most inhospitable of planets, inhabited by a major civilization. Only Letnov's Ark Prime is recognized as more desolate than Quinara. The Letnev, however, live exclusively under Ark Prime's surface, whereas the Noor civilization is well established both on and below Quinara's continents. Only Quinara's polar regions, where even, where even the hardy Noor can't survive the deadly storms for extended periods of time, are largely uninhabited. Brutal electric hail and dust storms, although not approaching the ferocity of the polar storms, are frequent throughout the planet and considered normal by the Noor. Visitors to Quinara will be flown directly to the immigration nexus in the capital of Hakor. Uh, if weather permits sufficient visibility, most visitors will be impressed by the massive size and explosive traffic of the city. The Noor structures are typically oval or rounded, created from hardened reddish material similar to the general topography of the planet. Like most major Noor cities, Hakor features towering building constructs, sprawling low-story buildings, and sudden deep gorges into the earth that reveal cityness deep below the surface, <clears throat> delving into the red earth. Busy roads, you guys are saying red in my corner. Uh, <laughs> busy roads and hover lanes across the city in a thousand ways, often congested with Noor traffic. The Noor will tell you that they are ruled by Sardak, the Queen Mother, but that acknowledgement seems more steeped in ritual than fact. None have ever met the mythical quote-unquote mother, and no off-world documentation exists, suggesting that there's any truth to the notion. The accepted invisible head of the Noor state is the envoy of the Queen, a male Noor, in direct command of the communal, economic, and military matters of the race. The length of the envoy's tenure and the process of his election seems to be decided by a secret brotherhood called the Veiled Brood, in which lies the real power of the Noor. The envoy and the Veiled Brood oversee the rapid expansion of the Noor military forces and fleets. The Teklar elite soldiers are the pride of the people, and the Teklar train exclusively in the southern polar regions, where the weak die and the strong become Gorm. Gorm? Gone. Gone. <laughs> Members of the prestigious Teklar order treated like knights by the Noor and feared across the galaxy. Huh. Uh, as Quinara slowly turns, as the world turns, <laughs> these two are the bugs of your love. Um, as stars again come into the right constellations, the veiled bird knows that the time to swarm is coming again, and this time the swarm will cover the stars. I'm gonna die, and it's gonna be sad. I'm not gonna live up to that. I'm just gonna say. There we go. All right, so your turn. I'm not reading that. <laughs> <laughs> like did, just so people know what the, what the books are like. Depending on what you get, it'll be very easy. If you've got the cats, they're traitors. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Space makers. Have you ever played King of Tokyo? Ghost Boy is asking us. Yes, we have. Um, we have played it a lot. <laughs> that game's awesome. Who give me? The Isero tribes. Interesting. Isero tribes? Yeah. I don't believe they're normal. <laughs> they're Smeagol. <laughs> Freaking Smeagols. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about this. Sweet. No, nice. no, I can read it in that voice. No. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, ghost, break the wall. Pass, no goes. <laughs> I think that's your symbol, right? You've got the uh, yes. This and one's the ready looking one, I think. Yeah. <laughs> trade contracts, you've got trade contracts. <laughs> um, 
seemed appropriate. And then you might as well pick yours if you want, because she's going to read hers real quick so she can paraphrase. The Universities of Jolnar. That's the uh, top one. Crap. Jolnar. You would the... prefer to just read the whole thing for me. You're going to read the whole thing? <laughs> Shmeeda! <laughs> oh, another race that's not from the... There you go, there's Imperial your trade. Rex. <coughs> yeah, the, oh, wait, uh, no, those ones are. I think in Imperial think Rex you get yeah, the eight, but in here you have ten. Yeah, the yeah. Jolnar are. Cause, they are. Because, um, what's his face played on? I don't so remember Jolnar. the picture being that... Good. <laughs> I guess if that's one way to put it. It's a nice little... <laughs> it's a good picture! I've had that game, it's been sitting on my bed since February on my birthday. Oh, you should play that game, dude. It's so good. Oh, Tokyo? Yeah. Yeah. King of the Hill, the Giant Monsters, and Yahtzee combined. I mean, recommend the win, win, Halloween win. expansion. As well. I don't know if he has the expansion though. It just says that he just got the game. Yeah, but the Halloween expansion is a very the Halloween expansion is really fun. Power up in Halloween. I, although I don't like using the costumes because <coughs> the cards are the wrong well, size. I just meant for the um, yeah, Boogie Boogie Oogie Boogie is an Oogie awesome. Boogie is, so. is an awesome awesome guy. <laughs> awesome card. So I slide this over so people can see my. Or as I call him, Oogie. Pumpkin Jack. Pumpkin Jack. <laughs> the other Halloween one. Yep. It's a good. Let's see a slide over here. What am I do? We need room for the map because the map is going to take up the whole table. I don't know where to put everything. Um, all right, who wants to go first? As far as some <coughs> character, or you can just straight out read it. It's up to you. I think they're both still reading. They're like captivated by their characters. <laughs> I've got the peaceful face turtles that I will never play correctly. <laughs> <laughs> At least the trading part kind of fits me, but I don't know about the peaceful part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. When you vote, like, to both sides of me are the races that I would play. <laughs> Where's the name of your home planet? Um. Ran and Tile. Yeah. It's Archon. Yeah. Archon. Archon. Ran and Archon Tile. I knew this was going to be the race. Wait, I got. what's the. What's, it was an A? Archon? Archon. Yeah. Archon. Yeah. Alright. This is not in alphabetical order. It was, but. And you'll recognize mine because it's literally <laughs> is 0. 0.0. .0. <laughs> zero dot zero dot zero. Pulled, I was like, hey, oh, you just have one planet? E -B -Y -B. Yes. <laughs> Archon Red is yours? A poor, is that dark, cold that planet is on the one end. one of the two, yes. And then Beyond the Archon Tau. Tau. Yep. And what's your, yours must be the other one, A-B-Y-Z. No, well, literally, literally has all I have is Oh, zero. just the one, okay. Yeah. Alright, mine's Quinara. I should have known that because I read it like 15 times. So it's got a super big resource. What's the. Oh, it has like no tactical. It has, it has absolutely no influence because it's, yeah. it's uh, out beyond the borderlands. Yeah. They don't. No okay. one acknowledges them as actually being the Lazak. Alright. Alright, and yours is. Can I buy this for a second? Um, oh, Tillian yeah. and Shalom. And of course, he has Jolin Nar. And Shalok. Planet cards for you. I can't remember. Do we start with our planet cards exhausted at the beginning no. of the game? We don't, right? <coughs> right away. No. Any new when you ones take we over, get. Yes, yeah. But I know these, the new ones. I just home. didn't know if the start. No. These are because you wouldn't be able to buy anything. Here's the point. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to do anything <laughs> at all the first the first left turn. Good point. He's got Joel and Nar. Uh, Joel Nar. Yeah. But doesn't he have? He has Joel. Yeah. And Nar. Oh. Get twin foot. He's he's the Romulan of the group. Mm -hmm. Wait, what's the other one called? Nar. No, oh, Nar. I thought you said Lenar. Nar. Nar. The University of Nar. Nar. Good point. Alright, those are starting planets. Here we go. Regular planets are probably going to keep <coughs> here if you can hand them out as we get them. That's fine. Um, I just knocked down all my colonies. There go all my colonies mm -hmm. all over the floor. Um, okay, so now we need to hand out. We're getting closer to actually starting this game. Woo! Um, well, no, this is part of the game. It, it is. is part of the game. Uh, oh, and so you were first, Beth, right? You're speaking yeah, to start. She is Am I? Speaker. Okay, yep. so, long story short, <laughs> <laughs> very long story short, um, the Yseral tribes, okay. <laughs> they do They're stuff. basically these chameleon-like creatures from these swamp lands where their uh, other races have come to harvest roots from that planet or okay. whatever. And uh, they started showing up and attacking the people who were there to harvest, and because of their stealthiness and everything, they started getting cap getting captured and uh, studied and experimented on and stuff. So people were like cloaking and, uh, and stuff? But it actually ended up going the opposite direction where Make my people smarter. my people became smarter and started <laughs> using their technology. <laughs> 
And uh, now they've uh, established a guild of spies. Oh, wonderful. And uh, yes, we are the rogues. You're essentially the rogues. And, the rogues. Yeah. and uh, yep. <laughs> so. That's cool. You're almost like the Asari from Mass Effect 3. Yeah. Well, not Mass, or Mass Effect in general. Because they were like, <clears throat> yeah, what frogs are they? Whatever they, they started out they with like These skills animals. of stealth, uh, the uses of technologies, and power of information. Combined with their ability to become nearly invisible, they soon come to realize their own potential and establish the powerful and feared guild of spies. Nice. <laughs> Badass. They're cool. Mm. I don't like them. <coughs> <laughs> I'm just a bug. I like I'm everyone. I'm basically a space cockroach. <laughs> All right. Well, they like everyone. I'm so, not sure about myself. <laughs> My All home right. planet is the Universities of Jolnar, and basically, I am the lovely, scary fish people. <laughs> scary, scary fish people. Fish people. Um, the creature from the Black Lagoon in space! Pretty much. <laughs> uh, and so, uh, the, the actual race is called the Hylar. There's actually several variations of them, but essentially... Yeah, I'm just going to put on um, good oh, uh, It's okay. We got paper towels. Yeah. Oh. Not to worry. We're good. Oh, that's not good. You can slide it under your chair, you know. Did it get on there? Yeah. Oh. So anyway, um, yeah. you can put the next um, one on there. I'm working on it. Sorry. So no, basically, um, their technology is the basis for pretty much most technology in the galaxy. Okay. Um, the end result, however, is that because so many people relied on their technology, um, when the Twilight Wars um, took place, basically everyone lost track of it, and then everything fell apart um, because so people were so reliant on their technology and didn't have it to maintain anymore. Okay. Um, so. The end result is that um, they, uh, so basically because everyone was so reliant on them, um, it caused huge piles of war, famine, poverty, chaos, all kinds of crap because people were... <laughs> all that fun stuff material. that we enjoy in um, The end result, of course, is that um, even though the Jolnar were devastated by the Twilight Wars just like everybody else... Um, the rest of the galaxy relied on their technology, so the Jolnar had relied on income, protection, and natural resources of others. Okay. Um, and basically this caused them to get overconfident um, and create a cr sudden aggressive war after everything had kind of passed by. Um, so um, after a while, they ended up switching and becoming more defensive, um, mm -hmm. uh, mostly because of the bugs. <laughs> well, um, because, the, because the bugs decided that they wanted to conquer all all of our space. That's what we do. Um, and yeah, so only after, and basically, um, <laughs> only after we had a decisive victory in the solder system did we receive our needed rest. Um, so I'll, I'll read that. That's that's the the history part. I'll read the actual story. Um, for the care, for the actual race. So, okay. like Azure Sapphires, the twin plan ocean planets of Joel and Nar slowly circle the Garian Star. Uh, under their waters lies the great civilization of the Hylar, a water-breathing, soft-boned species with oversized heads and intellects to match. The Hylar are governed by an ancient system of high scholars who combined are called the University. A single Hylar ruler, the Headmaster, oversees the Hylar from the deep underwater city of Wunesha, um, on the planet of Joel. Under the Headmaster, the Circle of region, the Regents co governs the local regions and specific areas of knowledge. Uh, although the Hylar are often considered one race, there are in fact several distinct variations of the Hylar species, mainly derivative of the geographical region and ocean depth from which they hail. Most Hylar are capable of breathing surface air and can, some can exist for weeks without being submerged. Others cannot breathe surface air at all and must travel in massive tanks when off-planet. Uh, none know how an underwater race came to be masters of technology. Um, most agree that the large biocerebral area of the Hylar physique, combined with the need to adapt their soft bone and slow bodies to their environment, created an evolution of material usage as opposed <coughs> to physical adaptation. Despite their physical weaknesses, the Hylar are a proud people, often to the point of abrasiveness and arrogance. Um, since the catastrophic dark years, the Hylar have started utilizing the natural resources of their own planets, and they now extract metals and medicines from the many algae and coral formations of both Joel and Nar. As a new age nears, the Hylar once more strive for the influence that they feel that they have earned. The Circle of Regents has secretly decided that the Hylar must take the place of the Luzaks in governing and advancing new, uh, a new united galaxy. 
Under their mandate, the headmaster has begun building his forces, and Jolnar diplomats and engineers have started appearing among other civilizations in large numbers, appearing friendly, but with hidden agendas. Of course. Um, soon the headmaster he will make his claim for empire, and the galaxy will enter an age of technological advancement and intellectual achievement. So basically, I want to make the universe smarter. Oh, that's <laughs> basically sure, what it is. that's what you say. That, that's that's what it's I want you all to get along. Although, it's kind of funny, because I think in like Tom, Hume, and Rex, they're the ones that have one benefit for, like, armies and stuff, and then the uh, the cats, of course, the Hakan, have the the money, and, like, yeah. if you form, a, like, an agreement with each other, you just basically become super filthy rich with a huge army. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's what I did. It was me and, me and I think, uh, what's his face? I can't remember his name. Mean, yeah. You and what's his face? I'm glad, that I, I'm glad that I pulled out the right technologies, because those were the ones that are going to be... I feel like we should have picked our colors after. No. We picked our I know. Races. I, I, Why? I, because Mine's it's easier. I know! <laughs> the color doesn't really have anything to do with the race. Mine's Although it is, real, it, is really it is really funny that I originally races. was going to take purple, and I ended up with the purple race. I know, right? I mean, Christmas. <laughs> Christmas! <laughs> Alright. The rest of this we'll use after, so... What we should do real quick is set up the map, and that way we can fit the rest of the things for the game setup, and then we can start actually for real, honestly, goodnessly playing this game. <laughs> wow, that's insane. Yeah, it was the cats and these people. Yeah, okay, that's what it was. The Mariner of Letnov? Yeah. Yeah, that was a good the combo. Baseline technology I start with is insane. Really? You're so. just equal with this one over here. Yeah, no, I have, no, 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 well, no, no my technology, the specific things that I start with are nasty um basically i can spew out ships like nobody's business and they're all <laughs> more powerful than usual <laughs> same with her yep well considering the fact that my people are helping her people um do we have according to the description well, some, some of, of your them, scientists some of them, were, yeah. some of them going down yeah. <clears throat> is it supposed to be just five each right yep and where does the rest of the starting things go? Do you have them? Uh, yeah, they're over here. Okay, cool. I'm gonna just put those with them for now. So we start with Beth. Okay, so two ground forces, which are the flags. What so we want to do is set it up like, kind of like this, like tilt it a little bit, so that way Ian can have one this way, and then Sue, Beth, me, and you. Does that make sense? These are the carriers, right? Alright. Yeah. Uh, the carriers look like this. Or are these? The ones with these. those cargoes. Yeah, the so two of those. <sighs> Alright, fighter, so which I'm assuming. There might not be enough room for you to have right. your cards right that's there. The I know, I, I have yeah, no well, idea we'll where. I mean, that's why we're doing that first before we put everything out. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what I'm playing. If this is not going. Yeah, that's why I didn't no put way. any of my cards out or anything yet because mm -hmm. yeah, we'll I don't know where we're going to have to rearrange. Oh, yeah, we're totally. Because this is not coming up anywhere. Like some of our stuff is going to These ones, these are these ones, Little platforms. The what? Yeah. The PDS are the ones that stand up and have little pokey things that can do them. And the fighters are the smaller ones, yes. right? Yes, the fighters are the little baby. Alright. Things, yeah. Yep, my right. little teeny ones. Yeah. Are we supposed to look at what we have here? Or yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. we're, yeah, because we're going to be, we're gonna be placing them. Out, yeah. mm -hmm. we got to actually place them on the board here, on the planet. Yep. First, we'll start universe. Are we supposed to put these up? Where are we supposed to put these? Oh, those are the shorts. Your, that's your currency, essentially. Um, yeah. All right. So, Mercator X. First, you do your home planets. You guys pick your sides. No, and no. You do your home the home planets are on the f out. The, the oh, right. You put them two spaces out so that we know where you're setting up. Well, so you start with your home planet and you go one, two, or three, I think. So you know where because we build everything into the home planets. Okay. It's right little look. Yeah, but I mean we. Where, we could just where we're going to be? Them out. Well, we're not going, going to, to know be because you're going to set them because he's going to be in the middle. He's going to be in the right. middle. We're going to be closer to him. You guys so you are start out this you're way. going to be the only one in the distance. You start out this way. Yeah. We need to know where these home planets are because it's no, going to you got to flip to the back because where it's are we still going? the same thing. It's the it, same. No, setup. it's just a slight. It's a slightly different the, because of what I'm saying. Though is the steps do yeah. not change. The, you start out with the home planets and then you build your map. What it should look like when it's done for us, it should look like this. Or if the home planets are in the set point, we can just wait until we're done putting up the planets. Well, yeah, but you're you're gonna we're. You decide kind of where you're going to put stuff based on where people have set up their home planets. Yeah, I know exactly then, where I'm going to put the things for knowing where my. <laughs> I don't think you do, but that doesn't mean everybody does. But I mean, I, I mean, are are you? I mean, I'm assuming that she's going to be one, he's going to be five, I'm going to be four, yeah. so he's going to be three, and you're going to be you two. Should, you should. We should do it. This yeah. is our first time playing it. We're broadcasting yeah. it, so we should do it the way the rule book says, which is the home planet. You put it out in the middle. Well, it's not. 
going to be quite like that. Because <laughs> his is going to be... Yeah, that's why I turned it. I turned yeah, it so that it's going to be like, it'll be like that. him, then you, yeah. then her. And yeah. then we just kind of fill in as we go. Because I'm going to have to well, be... this way somewhere. Yes, because you're going to be with a three. Yeah, and you can do, if you want to know how many it'll be, yeah. you can do it's this. Fine. Oops, I, I know the general where it's mm -hmm. going to be. That's yeah. Whoops. Mm -hmm. yeah, his is going to be one, two, yeah, you just and do that. third ring is where his is going to be. His is going to be here. Yeah, and mine will and be then here. mine will be two off of his. So mine is going to be here. Perfect. And then basically, I think mine would be... And yours would be too off of that. It also helps us to see like where we can put our stuff too. So yours would be right there. Yeah. I think these are mine. Right. And now we kind of know where our space is going to be. Mm -hmm. Sort of. Where did mine? And we can actually see almost everything on the map. Almost. Here, here yeah, right. it'll be right there. Right where I am. <clears throat> Just about. And. <clears throat> This is probably going to hurt, but you know that I don't care what's down here. <laughs> Good point. Well, medical has six. Of, well, that makes sense. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> the most That's what everybody's trying, trying, to trying to get. Yeah, <laughs> makes sense. Nebula. Mm -hmm. Ooh. <clears throat> Technically, you should play second, but because Beth was first, right? Yeah, I, if I was going off the order of how we drew our races, yeah. So it should be this. I thought it was going around. I was last. I yeah. Is it mm -hmm. that way or is it just clockwise? When you set up, it's just clockwise. Uh -huh. yeah. mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. Counterclockwise. <laughs> we can do counterclockwise the first time, clockwise the second time. I'm cool with that. Because it will reverse. Yeah, it will. And you can't do that unless you have no other option. What do you mean? You can't. You can't have two no, empty spaces. You can't place. You can't place two empty ones in a row. Yeah. It has nothing to do with being oh, okay. next to next to each other. There was there was a little comment. Yeah. I was about okay. to say I thought I was yeah. doing this right. right. Okay. <laughs> it's just I played a blank one and she played a blank one. So next you time, neither one, neither one of us can play a blank one. Yep. If we do, we have to show our hands completely yeah. blank. Yep. <laughs> So we have to connect around the center. You have to finish the okay. Yeah, we do okay. the center okay. first. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, if you if everybody could do that like twice, we'd have like, these weird deal. pockets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, I should have put mine on the other side so it looked better. But no, it actually is symmetry now. <laughs> so you get two choices. Mm. <clears throat> that actually kind of sucks. Okay. <laughs> what did you put there? An asteroid? An asteroid yeah. Field. Well, because one card I <laughs> have. the nebula you can sit in there if you want to. You can't do crap with an asteroid field except mm -hmm. move slower. Oh, no, you can't you move. You can't. At you can go all. through it. You can go no, through it. Not if you have, not the, if you right have the technology. technology. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can't yeah. move through it. I, I you can't stop on it. Like yeah. a nebula, at least you can stop yeah. on it. Oh, yeah, you have. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I'm going to do this. I do too. I have the technology to move through them. I start with I don't even to make things interesting. Mm hmm. Oh, wormhole. Well, if you're going to make things interesting, <laughs> another wormhole. Let's make it interesting. <laughs> Is that an A? Yeah, it's an it's a, a, a. a. All right, so we'll go the other way now. So. Oh, yeah, now I get to play again. No, I play again. You just played again. That you, was. You were first. And then you played second. He was last. You just went oh, first. Actually, now Ian goes. If, I, if, if it's not my turn, you placed first. Which we means went this way. Actually, Ian places another one right now. So if so, you I'm just placed that one. No, it's it, is it my turn again, yes, or is it or is it his turn? We go back no, no, now. No. We go around. You're still first he, player. Yeah, so but he it's he's the end. If he's the end, he's he goes back again and then goes around. That's how the rules say you do it. Yeah, I he's the last he player. Still, no, you don't go the back. First, to him. The last player goes twice. The last player goes twice. It, and the last person goes always twice. goes. Twice. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, okay, I thought it was the first player. No, it's always the last player. Ian will play another one. And it flips around. Yep. So I thought it was like the other games where you go to the end, then the no. first player goes again, you just reverse it. Nope. Okay, so it last bounces player around. <clears throat> yeah, if, us in the middle will always just play one. Yeah. Beth and Ian will always play two. Will end up always playing two. We'll yep. alternate playing two. Yeah. Yep. Okay, that makes so sense. So now I can go anywhere. Else. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Now you're in the a lot more 
like options. <laughs> you can go anywhere. <laughs> the middle of space is devoid of all life. <laughs> yeah. Yes. We've destroyed. Oh God. <laughs> and there's a supernova <laughs> over there. Yeah, because you can't place it there because you put the nova yep. over there, so we That's can't. Right. She can't sure. cut you off. So I, I actually, great. technically, no, I yeah. can't. So I unintentionally saved myself from a supernova. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm. What do I want? I think I'll do that. Ooh, lovely. Got some planets. <clears throat> Very nice planets. Yes. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> you have nice planets. So. Oh, one is like a synergy. Is that is that a technology? You, it's green. So is that one you normally? The because you're like that, a green color. No, that'll be yeah. That's for the green technology. Yeah. So I can that'll give me a discount for green yep. technologies if I control it. Yep. Does that mean now she goes again? Yes. 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 That means now I go again. And then we go this way. Here I go. Here I go. Here I go again. What's my weakness? Planets. Oh. <laughs> Stupid ass <laughs> everywhere. Well, I can't place anything Ow, else. No. <laughs> you can't place them next to each other. Unless they're the last thing in your hand. Yep. You have no other and they're not. So. <laughs> Alright, so mine. Just put some empty space between us. Mm hmm. I'll see how it is. Alright, we're still kind of filling this. Yep. Well, right? So it's like these two are last. Yep. Okay. Yeah, it gets hard so to see after that. It's basically this space and this space and that space. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna well, put. Well, I'm showing you. Yeah. Well, that uh, and the one space that's yeah. still in front of his planet. Yeah. Yeah, I can be really nice to you, Aaron. Maybe we can form an alliance later. Possibly. Technically, there should be two spaces between yeah. them. Yeah, because it's here, 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 here. Oh. Well, yeah, yeah. Nice yeah. Is, is you already have one space in front of your planet. Right. Yeah, I the mean, one directly in front of me. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So Ghostboy 736 is asking, so what's your objective in this game? Um, it, this victory is a four-time game, so ten. what you're going to do is explore. Well, yeah, you want to try to get to ten victory points, but you're essentially exploring, building up your civilizations, creating allegiances, and then breaking them, going to don't war. Don't need to break them. You don't always have to break them. I've um, proved that in the last that's true. space game that um, people thought I But essentially, um, well, you're... So you don't want to break them. Yeah, this one doesn't have that role. Okay, yeah. what's the green number and what's the red number? Just... Green, the is, green resources. is resources and, and red is influence, influence for, like, for voting and stuff. That's when we do political things. Yeah. Many votes you have. But yeah, you explore you the galaxy it. and you hopefully gain the most power. That's mm -hmm. kind of the basics. Become the most influential race in the galaxy. If you can get to 10 victory points, you essentially take over Metacall. You become the political juggernaut. Now you get like two in a row. I do. Um, and one of them can be the one that's in the empty space. Between Actually, so no. yeah, because yeah. Yeah, you got to yeah. finish that off. <clears throat> you basically have the three spaces in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, yeah. you get like two. That's pretty good. You're lucky. Ooh, smart. <laughs> oh, wait. It wasn't the smart. <laughs> so you get to choose where that wormhole is going to Oh, that's going. great. Yeah. Yeah. I, know, I know. I don't, I don't yeah, care yeah. where it No, she's like... Yeah. But she can do some, depending on, she can have some fun with it. Yeah, she Or she can be fun. really nice to you, or she can make it so you can just beat up other people that she doesn't like. <laughs> you can't start robbing me yet, so. <laughs> yep. I don't have any interest to. Um, I maybe literally he, don't care yeah, what you do. Maybe Whatever. he joins you so he can take you over from within. <laughs> <laughs> they already I joined you, so I don't care. <laughs> I, mean, I guess technically, in a way, they've already taken you over from within because they just stopped repairing you. I guess you just shut down. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we know how to repair ourselves by now. Maybe. You know? But yeah. Aw, that's one fucking. These are the PDR things, yep. right? Those are the, the PDFs. Do I have to put it in one of these two spots? You have to put it in this one. Yeah. Or this well, one. Well, maybe it's not broken. Yeah, because yeah. you gotta yeah. complete the second ring. There's, is there gonna be another ring? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the third ring is will close around us. Oh, no. yeah. Say we don't have any cards left to do, but. I think we're supposed to have gotten more than five cards if there's only five players, though. Uh, nope, everybody, I think we'll just get five. No, that's right. If this is five players, I, I was thinking six players. Six players is five to each. Oh, and five players is it, it six might be, or seven? I don't know. They don't explain that oh. in the, that well, video. Well, unless, th unless, the vi unless the 
though this isn't going to be filled in quite as much, I don't think. It does look different, so I don't think it's... Before I it choose, I want you to yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, each gets six systems each, so we're missing, so they we're missing they one each. Yeah. yeah. Okay, then each gets six. Oh, that makes me feel better. Yeah, that's kind of a bummer. Oh, see, now if I got this the first time, I would have put it there. <laughs> well, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, see, that's yeah. uh, If you want to replace right, the one... Nice. That's fine with us. Yeah. If you know which one's yeah. yours, replace. I don't think yeah, it's going to matter one. for me. No, not going to matter. Okay. I've already, so. I've already shown my hand as far as that goes, but... Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's going to end up next to me anyway. anyway. I don't really care, so no, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you could end up playing it next to you anyway, so... Yeah. No matter what... Well, I saved yeah. it specifically to have it next, next to me, so yeah. Because I was backwards on the things. Yeah. But yeah, we're we're never going to be connected <laughs> for the most part. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's a there's. A, yeah. I, I am curious. Is it? Are we actually going to complete? Yes, I, we are going to complete. Yeah. yeah. It's just we won't be separated by only two because yeah. of how right. far apart we are. Right. We should be separated by a lot more. Actually, I think you actually might. Maybe it's supposed to be yeah, here. I might be supposed to be Because I think you're supposed to be a little bit further apart. I'm not positive. No, he's equidistant to everybody. We're just missing no. the six No, spot. I'm not equidistant no. to we're, no, we're, we're, we're all oh, everyone else, except yeah. for the two except of Except for him, yeah. Yeah, those... Because we're missing a spot. Yeah. There right, be a no, those two are farther away than we are. We get bonuses. No. There's two. There's two. There's right. two. There's there two. shouldn't be two. The only gap between the two of you... The, the only one that it's, has a bigger gap is the two of you. There's two gaps there's, it looks like this. Yeah, there's supposed to be a bigger gap. There's three so gaps of three. Yeah. yeah, so I don't have a gap of three, so... Yeah. So none of us do. Yeah. Right, because we have two, two, two. No, she's supposed to be at three. So it's supposed to be one, two, three. She should be, like, here. Right here? Okay. That's all. And he should be here. Like, this one? In, in that spot. Like that. And then See? Okay, so... I think... Wait, yeah, because if you hold... the map. It's hard yeah. to tell. Because if you put the map... from the middle? We're putting the map like this. See, you're five. Then it's one, two for her. Then it's three across. Okay, it's three across and then down for you. Then it's one, two, three for you. So I need to be I'm here. I'm one, two, and this is four. Then there's going to be one, two, and three, and then okay. you're going to be there. Okay. Yeah, so you two, so I was two have three off. spaces off. Yeah. yeah. You, there are three between you and us, okay. and then there's only two between us, which okay. is why we get yeah. a bonus and you get a double bonus. Should I oh. technically have one more tile in here or am I in the right place? It looks short, doesn't it? I think so. If you if you look if you look that there will yeah, there will be three like this. This screws up You're a right. lot of stuff You're that right. we placed yeah. out. No, this is this is it's exactly the correct. That's setup. this is how okay. it's supposed to be. Yeah, but it screws the planets I've already placed completely. Really? I put this oh. in front of me for a reason. I see what you're saying. Well, uh, do you want to? I mean, no. I mean, at this point, I. Just swap them out. Cause you can I mean, that's that's, that's hers. hers. That's, that one's wait. mine. So oh, switch. Oh, right, because you were you were being yeah. nice to him anyway. I wanted to next to him anyway. Yeah. So yeah, you were being nice to him anyway. So yeah, yeah. it still works. Yeah. Mine, well, I need to change yeah. though. Can I change mine? Yeah. yeah. Because oh, I guess I don't. No, you're I mean, still, you're you're still have, next to you. You still have, and you have the benefit of because it's not a straight line from the. Yeah, it's not going to be. It's not going to be. Oh, okay. All right. That's where it was messed up. Yeah. Yeah. Hers should be though, right? Hers is right. Hers is right. Hers is right. Yes. Ours is three there. there. It'll still look there, yeah, That's what I'm trying to yeah, figure yeah. out. Me and you are the only ones that don't have a direct Yeah, we have line. a weird a weird funky one. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Did it mess up anybody else? You still go one, two, three, and you're there. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just, we don't have a direct straight line. Yeah, we have a weird yeah. cookie one. Yeah, you gotta... Yeah. That's what threw me off. Sorry mm -hmm. about that. But yes. So, who's... It, did you do your planet? Because I think it stopped yeah. with you. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so... What are we filling in now? Is there anything else in the other um, stuff? That no, there I, is right there. Yeah, so is you, the last you one. Kind yeah, of are the last. Have to you yeah. kind of have to play that. You kind of have to play that. Okay, so I'm gonna play six an hour just to set up the map. <laughs> no, that's no, part of. Can. This is some of the most every, important strategy. Yeah, every 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 piece <laughs> is important, which is why the Sorry. not knowing where we were supposed to actually be. Can mess you up? Yeah. So. Because you have to explore from your home system. Mm -hmm. yeah. You start there and you have to kind of... Um, well, let's do this right here. Alright. So... So there should be three here, right? Yes. Right. And then two here. Yes. Okay. I he got filled, it. He filled yeah, that I one. one. Alright. <laughs> I will be paying back your kindness unless they fill in your spot. <laughs> That's Mother. my two. That's you. Here's my kindness. Oh, thank you. 
Am I supposed to go next? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And I can just barely fit. Oh, yeah, that's in the outer. Yep. Okay. yep. That's the one, then two, three. Okay. Okay. Now, now it's starting to make sense. Looks weird. I'll give you, weird, you resource heavy planets, but no influence. I have crap for Well, I have one re thing with some influence. Yeah, I'm on just. It. Not the one oh, I, I see. gave you. I'm okay with that. Wow. Where does that go? All the way across the world. Okay. So, so you have a way to go over there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's awesome. actually really good. Am I too? Yep. Yep, now it's your two. Planets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's all I got. Tina. So now I'm connected, so there's two spaces that I can play, right? Oh, three play. Okay. Hmm. There should only be three. Uh, or maybe it's just this, this, and that. This I one. I think so. Yeah, it's just those yeah, two just spots. These two. Yeah. Uh, no, no. This one is one spot. One, two, three, four. There's four. Oh, that's right. Just this one. Because one, two. Because this it, one. No, it's only one, spot. two, three. Yeah. There's only three left. So it's this one, this one, yeah. and that one. Okay. With the. There should be one more. <laughs> according to that map. Because I think. Oh, she should be here. That's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> I think okay. we no, 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 no. She's, she's literally correct. There's yeah, just, she can't. Oh, this one, 736 is following yeah. us. Thank that you. Has to be. Thank you. That's the one. The map. It does look long. There's long literally supposed, supposed to be four spots. There's just there's one. I don't know if we just randomly filled the last so one. So I'm supposed to be four, or am I supposed yeah, to be? Yeah, you're supposed. Three? To, no, I'm four. You're three. So there's supposed to be one, two here. Yeah. yeah. One so there's there. supposed to be three. Then from you, there's one, two, three to her. And yeah. then there's one, there's, so we're literally, we we're just have to one. randomly flip one, I'm assuming. Yeah, we are short one. That is weird. That's an odd number. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. But it says we have 30 tiles, which we did. Yeah. Unless I mean, we didn't have yeah, it we up, discarded right? two. Yeah. I think we made a mistake setting it up. I think we're, I we're think one is in the wrong place. No, the, ma the map is literally exactly as it's. There's one. I think there's just three. One, Two, three. There's, there's, there's oh, you only correct. remove one random system. Not two. Oh, so there's so. So there is one. So one. you are supposed to have. A everybody two. should have six. No, it's just six. Did everybody get six? Maybe we miscounted. I gave everyone. I thought he gave everybody. Token. Yeah, he gave everybody one extra. So unless we didn't yeah. have. Because we're coming back around the last way. You yeah. had one ex one thing left to play. You have one thing yep. left to play. I have one thing to play. So it makes sense that you would have an extra one because it would be you as the last person. But. It, or we just choose out of these, well, not choose, but just randomly draw decide and, and draw Yeah, there yeah. should be 31 squares in here. Right, but it oh, says... Okay. But, there's only, but with but five players and six, there's one extra square. It says everybody random. gets six. It's I'm not sorry, it's a random... Draw it's just, in. Yeah, okay. random. Oh, that makes sense. It actually does sort of make sense, because you don't... There, you want to have something that's not yeah. completely planned. All right. Well, no. So, so it is supposed to be one space. Two yeah. Spaces it's a, one it says right here, after the entire galaxy has been completed, reveal the face-down system that was placed adjacent to... Oh, no. We were supposed to put the the one system that didn't get dealt. Next that was to, supposed to be put next to the system, next to next the, to the next middle. To yeah. Well, we can. We kind can of still do it. Just replace one of the empties. Yeah. Yeah. You can throw the empty somewhere else. So who who wants their empty removed? Let's do this. We're gonna roll. Um, so it's between. This was one. This was two. This was the third one placed. This was the first one placed. The second place. Third place. So what? One to six. Yeah. One to. So yeah. So six, why, don't, why don't we do eight, this to make six, it to, 12, 18. Okay. to make it fair? Hold on, hold on, hold on. To make it fair, because it's kind of a random situation. Why doesn't everybody place their last one and then whatever we take from that spot will go to the last space that's open? I'm okay with that. And then yeah. we just place. Does that make sense? Yeah, I'm fair with that. Just that's just that fair. way, nobody's making their placements with that new change in yeah. place. Does new that make sense? That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yep, I like it. That, just. That, no, makes, yeah, that, makes, that makes that fair is, sense, yeah, right? I agree. Not being I weird. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it might be being weird. Okay, so that not, one, one is going to like whatever that one is is going to be whatever it is. Yeah. All right. So this will end up being blank. So it doesn't so matter. Well, actually, no, it does because if we're gonna roll a d6 and they were choosing no, out of the first one, oh, the, the blank because it was the first ones are blank. Oh, that's right. Well, they weren't the first ones because it was actually this one, this one, that one. Oh, yeah. yes, yes, but we ways. could move the nebula, but I don't think she wants. I don't to. want the nebula moved. <laughs> <laughs> 
What All you right. want is irrelevant. What's that? What we've chosen is irrelevant. All right, hang on. Let me just separate. Because I wouldn't put it all the way out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. All right, now we know where we can spit our stuff. Yeah. <laughs> That's what. That was the big concern for me. Um, right. And you're starting um, like command pools and stuff like that. That's not different based on the when you play with five players, is it? It's still no. I like think whatever starting two, units two you have. Yeah. yeah. Everybody starts with this. Oh, you mean yeah. like command? Yeah, counters? the ones you start uh, with. The counters, yeah. yeah. I think uh, we, there, those there are, are always going to be trade two, goods three, are the two. ones that are bonuses, right? For, right. For yes, the, we'll the, get bonus yeah. trade goods. Okay. So what is the starting? Oh, hang on one second. Sorry, it is three, two, it's three, two, two. two. It's two, three, two, or three, two, two. It is two, three, two, two. three, two. Okay. I think is that because it's not two, three, three. It's two, three, two. Um, Unless it is two, three. Well, let's take a look, just to be safe. The flags are the command. It is two, three, three. No. All two, of those are both wrong. <laughs> but those are control yeah. counters. When you contr when you oh. So two, if you take a strategy allocation, but mm -hmm. it's yours, you put a control counter on it because you, uh, you still it's still your planet. You just and left three it command. Empty. Yep. So it and they recommend three. putting these in the fleet side so people can see across the table more easily, I guess. Yes. But it should be the so it's two three three. No, I I get that. That's not Oh, sorry. And then, let's see, starting units, five ground forces, one carrier. Do these, we put these on our planets? Yes. Yeah, we do, right? That's yeah. a lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You're an invading raid. <laughs> oh, so all of this goes on our home tile? Yeah. Yeah. I thought I was like, Jesus, this is... Yeah, for her, it's just one place. For the rest <laughs> of us, we usually have to choose You can choose what which planet. Yeah, if, you have, oh. if you have ground forces, you can... Or in a PDS, and you, you have to choose, choose where your space is off. Yeah, because I, have, I literally have one for each planet. Oh, yeah. okay, well... The only thing I don't have multiples of is the spaceport and the... The... Uh, these are the cruisers, And the right? fighter. Or are these the cruisers? We're the, saying the, cru the, the cruisers, cruisers, the cruisers, and the carriers look kind of similar. So these this are is the, a carrier. So this is right. This is a cruiser. That's yes. a cruiser. That is a cruiser. And then this is a destroyer. Wait, a dreadnought. Dreadnought. The biggest. And one. This is a destroyer. Yes. The okay. little, the little pointy one is the destroyer. All right. Unless, unless. Uh, nope, I believe you. Um. <laughs> yeah, it makes because the cruiser is the bigger is the bigger one and it has more firepower. So yeah, it makes sense that it is the bigger ship. I mean, they're in space, so it doesn't really yeah. matter. If they're not. <laughs> so they're not. So it doesn't matter what planet they're on. No, no, it's just the, the, ground the ground forces, forces and, and the PDS. Which there's one for each planet. And yeah. then so, high I mean, that's deep that's space cannon and high assault rifle. I don't know what either of those things do, but what was it for me? Uh, high alarm five assault laser oh. and deep space cannon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two assault based technologies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, she's got Jeez. That's why I thought I'm going to do badly, because I'm not really a fighter kind of person. I, I'm more of a that was my... let's work with people kind of thing. And so I have your race. You do. I can't even find the deep space cannon. It's a red one. It is a red one. But I can't help you beyond that. <laughs> oh, there it is. I went past it, that's all. Oh, okay. So of course they start with that one for their... Their planetary defense systems can shoot adjacent territories. Oh wow! Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's I couldn't understand that rule when I read it because I'm like, wait a minute, if you can't when you're just trading stuff, it's like, why is there a PDS level of that? If you can't place it anywhere where there's enemy units, and I'm like, oh, after I read the technology, you card, pick it up and move it. Yeah. Well, no, what's like, say I wanted to move stuff in here, mm -hmm. um, or Aaron wanted to move stuff in here, and I had a ship here. He can't if he's doing a trade. Do it a transfer. Side. A transfer, sorry. Um, because there's one of my enemies. So I'm like, what is that? why is there a PDS thing? Because if he does a transfer and I have an adjacent in that technology, I can shoot him. Because I couldn't figure out why there was that phase mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in that particular... <clears throat> all right, all of your cruisers and destroyers now receive plus one on all combat rolls. Yep. Oh, that's okay, not so bad. I'm already lost. I don't know what all the different ships are. <laughs> all right, so, yeah, what, so do you what do you get? They have nothing uh, in the One space dog. Yep, so that's, that's, the, so that's the, round the round thing. thing. So the these. round thing. It looks like you space nine. Yep. Um, you get um, five ground force. Five the ground flags. Those are the flags. Those are the flags. That's what I thought. So those you pick a planet to put them on. Oh, 
Right. On your on, on the, your one of those two. You get to pick because yeah. you get to choose what, what planet you put. I mean, it doesn't necessarily matter, but if you get invaded, it matters which yeah. planet they're on. Yeah. I mean, unless you plan on taking you can put as many people, as you want yeah. on there, it doesn't matter. Unless right. you plan on taking all your people right away somewhere else. Let's uh, put a turn marker that. over there, right in front of Ian's oh, area. Oh, that's a victory point thing. Maybe slide as one close PBS. as possible to Ian's room for car. Well, not to be that close, but. <laughs> There's no huh? little, little TMS space. No, it doesn't make it go straight, but I mean, it doesn't have to be thing. against it. I just figured the on that side. The one with the point sticking up front okay. um, And then each of us mm -hmm. starts on nothing. So if you want to put this on zero, one of those little flags. TDS is planetary defensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they look like this. It's got like a little antenna yeah, sticking up. Yeah, so you get Oh, sorry. She's just... Yeah. Uh, two yeah. carriers. What's a carrier? The this carrier is the cargo ship. The funky looking thing. The ugly looking thing. It is. They are really... They're the cargo, cargo ship. One cruiser. It's funky. It's the... Ones that look similar to your cargo ship. The the in the middle there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And two fighters. Those are the little tiny ones next to you. These ones. Yep. Yeah. Those are the fighters. Man, I'm confused. Mm -hmm. well, Those are carriers, right? Yes. This is a carrier. Okay. This is a dreadnought. Yep. Yeah. You, yeah. you don't have any. Yes. You don't have any cruisers up. So. What are the What are these then? Uh, that's Those a destroyer. Are destroyers. Oh, destroyers. They swing in and they can blow up fighters mm -hmm. pretty much all they can do. They don't. I'm surprised there's not like a little chart somewhere that shows the Right? I know, that's what, what I'm saying. The they they kind of need a picture <laughs> the of only reason, like, I mean, there's, they, there's a picture in the book right, if you want to look at them. They have, this is the bigger of the ships that have the higher firepower compared to the destroyer. So I figure. I mean, oh, if you okay. want to look at them real quick, they are in the book. You I can think look what at we'll do is to put make sure. these. Oh, those are yours. Yeah. Um, we'll put the objective cards out here. Where we can see on the action cards, we'll just put near you where the planets are, and the political cards. Political cards, as we put them out, will become laws, and we'll put the laws out here. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm going to enjoy that. <laughs> I know. My special power in, in, interacts with those. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so that's where we're going to put those, and then we'll put the actual scenario or objective cards on Ian's side, and I think that gives us enough room for everything, including our ships and stuff. Uh, if anything's in the way, and then does everybody, does everybody give Beth a flag to put on the yep, scoreboard? Well, you didn't. I did not do that. I think I did. I stole yours. Oh, you stole one of mine. I stole oh, I see one how of yours. it is. Oh. oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> I did. I gave. I was the first one. Oh, then she had. Yep. Yeah, give her one of these little flags because that's how we keep track of our score. Um, and then what I'm going to do oh, real quick um, is I'm going to no. hand get these to you in order, points. but I'm going to read what they do so that players will know when we pick them without us having to read it every single time. Um, and of course, those of you who uh, none of us have played this before, I'm saying those of you who never played. Um, each, uh, most of these scenarios that we get to pick, um, have, have two things. You have the ability that the person who is activating it gets to do, and then once they do it, everybody gets a turn, uh, to possibly use the secondary ability, with the exception of the first one, because the first one only has initiative, I think. It doesn't have an actual secondary strategy, so I'm going to read both strategies. Uh, number one is initiative. Um, when you activate it, uh, after selecting this, uh, I'm sorry, after selecting the strategy card, claim the speaker token. During the action phase, you do not have to pay command counters from your strategy allocation area in order to execute the secondary ability of strategy cards. That's really good. Mm -hmm. um, you may not select the initiative strategy card during the next strategy phase. You do not take a strategic action during the action phase this round because it's the drawing it, was it? So that's the first one. If we can just put them near the score track so folks can see the initiative. And, the, and we'll have the play order is based on the numbers on here. We have more of these than there are people. Uh, and you just go in the order, whatever numerical order yep. of what people took. You have the bonus counters yep. up? Yes, uh, I have them in the container over here. Um, okay, so the site one is Diplomacy. The primary ability of the person who actually activates it is name an opponent. For the remainder of this phase, neither you nor that opponent may activate system containing units of the other players, including ground forces and PDS. Um, the secondary ability that other players can activate is spend one command counter from your strategy allocation area to refresh up to two of your exhausted non-home system planet cards. So there's number two. Uh, number three. It's supposed good. to like... Yeah, it makes like a little arc. Yeah, because it's not really going to get going out. <laughs> no, I thought um, they were flipping back and forth. No. They, you they, it could, be, yeah, you could actually. If you want to. Because I, I thought they were going like... So Some people do it. It depends if you want a straight line or... Yeah, you can do it that way too. It might fit better if you do it that way because of how we have the no room on the table. <laughs> uh, number three is political. The primary ability is the Galactic Council. You draw three action cards and receive one command counter from your reinforcements. That's... Anybody... Uh, reinforcements is what's not on your board mm -hmm. or on your planets. Yep. Um, then draw the top card of the political deck and resolve its agenda. 
After completing the agenda, draw the top three cards of the political deck. Secretly read them, and then place, them, place one card face down on top of the deck, and the rest face down on the bottom of the deck. The secondary activity that players can take advantage of is uh, Seek Destiny. Spend one command counter from your strategy allocation area and draw one action card. These are also summarized in the book, so if you want to look at them between turns, you can. But I just want to read them so players know. Mm -hmm. uh, not players, viewers know um, what we have. Uh, the fourth uh, str strategy is Logistics. The primary ability is Comprehensive Operations. Receive four command counters from your room. Ooh, nice. Mm -hmm. Um, the secondary ability is domestic mandate. You may spend influence to receive command counters from your reinforcements. You receive one command counter for every three influence that you spend. And number five is trade. Um, the primary ability is influence of the merchant guild. You choose either A or B. The A choice is immediately receive three trade goods. Then receive trade goods for your um, active trade agreements. Finally, open trade negotiations among all players. You must approve all new trade agreements. Or, B, all trade agreements are cancelled. Return all trade contracts. That's mean. Yep. <laughs> the secondary ability is called Commerce, and what you can do is spend one command counter from your strategy allocation area to receive trade goods for your active trade agreements. Number six is Warfare. <laughs> I think Sarah's going to get in some a lot. Uh, primary ability, a major offensive. Immediately receive one of your command counters from the board and then place it back on your command pool. That's a good one because mm -hmm. you can move around more. The secondary ability is called patrols. Spend one command counter from your strategy, blah, 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 uh, to choose one or two of your destroyer cruiser units anywhere on the board. Each unit may now move to an adjacent empty non-home system. Then place one of your command counters from your reinforcements in each destination system. And number seven. Might need to run out of room again. Uh, mm -hmm. We have two more. I guess we can put the other ones. It'll we could do just that. barely fit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, all right. So the primary ability for seven is technology, technological breakthrough. Receive one technology advance for which you have the nece necessary prerequisites. Um, and then the secondary ability is... Um, spend one command counter from your strategy allocation area and spend eight resources to receive one technology advance for which you have the necessary prerequisites. Keep in mind if your planets that you control have, um, mine don't, but if they have like a thing, it costs less than eight. It costs less, mm -hmm. minus one for each right. uh, color that, you know, hopefully that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, and then for the secondary ability, which is research and development, spend one command counter um, and spend eight resources to receive one talent. No, so basically you get to do it too. I think I read that backwards, actually. No, I did it right. Um, all right. The last one is Imperial. The primary ability is Imperial Claim. Draw the top card from the objective deck and place it face up in the common play area. Then receive two victory points. Um, wow. The secondary ability is spend one command counter from your strategy allocation area to immediately build units um, in one of your systems containing one or more friendly space docks. Even if you have activated this system already, uh, building units does not cost, does not activate the system, so it still stays blank. Mm -hmm. That's a wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the one that speeds up the game. Yeah. yeah. You just gotta be careful because it gives a rail to a lot of well, way, though. No, because no. you can end the game immediately. Oh, yeah. Because you'll hit. Uh, eventually, you will hit the game over card and the game win. Oh, that's true. And you don't get the two points. Yep. The We're going to eventually left. have to do it just to get to public objectives, though, because we'll yes. want them for points. Yeah. Yes. It's just, if, if someone does it with it, like, six times, if it ends up having six rounds in a row, the game might end quickly. very quickly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, because then it could, it could come up on the seventh turn, possibly. Yeah. yeah, it can come up as early as the seventh turn. Okay. Oh, my Lanta. Mm-hmm. Thank you.